Back over here on this soybean um, that we, we just talked about here just a moment ago. You know, soybeans really came out of the chute. Uh, they were up six to seven pennies. Uh, we're starting to see this front month back off. Is this all weather related, do you think? Yeah, well, the backing off the highs was still retaining a lot of the strength that uh, we've seen from earlier in the week to open the week. We get uh, China reopening news, weather concerns in South America, and that's kept prices pretty sticky around this psychologically significant $15 level. And we made an attempt at filling the gap that was still open from June 17th. That gap comes in 1524 to 1528. We partially filled it, just couldn't quite uh, totally get it filled. But the fact that we're still holding up here near 15 bucks is, I think, pretty darn encouraging here as we head towards the end of the year. And I think it presents a great opportunities for producers to look at some protection uh, in the options market. Looking at the options volatility in these grain market it is relatively low. So there are some affordably priced options out there to give you some protection and peace of mind as we get through these first couple months of 2023, where I expect there to be a little bit more uncertainty uh, once we turn that calendar in. Right now, it's very lackadaisical, which is typical for this time of year. But when we turn the calendar again, I think we get more participation and could potentially see that volatility pick back up. I know that you get a chance to talk to a lot of farmers, Oliver. Um, there are Blue Line Futures. So what are you hearing? Do you think that some of these producers, now granted, some already have their minds made up as to what they're planning between corn and soybeans. But do you think that there's still some out there that are sitting back waiting to see what this Brazilian crop is gonna do and what we're gonna see globally uh, before they make a decision whether I jump beans or go corn? Yeah, I, I think that it's going to be kind of a moving target as, as we enter the new year. A lot of emphasis and attention on that South American weather, as you had mentioned, Brazil and Argentina, and what's going to transpire there and how that affects prices and then affects decisions on what to plant here in the States. Ultimately, at the end of the day, you know, the American farmer does love to plant corn, so I expect those acres to come in pretty darn heavy uh, regardless, but it will be a moving target and be something to keep a very close eye on going forward. But I think corn and soybean beans up at these levels. And as I mentioned, the option volatility is relatively low. There's great opportunity to put a floor in the market while still, you know, rooting for the upside in these markets, but just give you a little bit of peace of mind when you go to sleep at night. Okay. Well, 